Hey everybody, it is Mike Les coming to you on Sunday morning, October 21st, 2018. It's about 37 degrees here this morning in Southern Dark County. We did get a little bit of rain last night, but probably not even a tenth. So uh, we just got to finish putting the combine back together. You saw yesterday's video, worked on the combine and run for parts most of the day. So I just about got this back together and um, we should be back in business in uh, harvesting corn here in the next couple hours. Okay, I was waiting for the rest of the squad to show up and I just looked at this auger and said I can carry that up there myself and I did. However, I couldn't do that in video at the same time, so I'm going to lift it over the tank, slide it down in, and then I can put the bearing and stuff on, and the hard part's done, I think, and I hope. Okay, got it all back together. So uh, slid the auger down in and um, put the bearing back on and it shimmed here. So it engages right down there and then just uh, six bolts. Four of them hold this and then one for this, uh, another set of bolts for that deflector there. So anyways, uh, the other guys are gonna be here real soon. Get the combine fueled up, def fluid and Hopefully we'll be harvesting here. The sun did peek through for just a second this morning, but you can see it's pretty cloudy. But um, anyways, not a lot to do on the ground, so we're gonna be okay to do corn today. I don't know what happened there. Must have broke while well, parked in the barn. Okay, so uh, heading down here to the field. My wife was picking up rocks down here and the skid loader was out of diesel fuel. So Trevor and I are gonna fill the skid loader up so she can pick up more rocks. Diesel fuel only.
Well, looks like with those high winds yesterday, it knocked some corn down. So this is just gonna add to the excitement. Okay, so the combine's all fixed. Everything uh, fired up and worked good. So we're gonna head to the field here. It's about 10 o'clock. like this corn really went down bad this uh, is not gonna be good and here's where I left off the other night almost made it to the end when that uh, auger and everything broke Okay, so uh, into the corn here, and it's going pretty good. It's just a little bit damp, but not too bad. The moisture on the monitor is saying about 16.8. Uh, we got some down corn in here, definitely, especially at the west end of the field. Uh, when I'm heading west, it's not too bad. Uh, coming back east, in some spots I really have to watch, but I am pushing a lot of leaves. A lot of leaves blew off the corn, and uh, you can see on the snouts there, maybe you can, that. Uh, pushing some leaves when I get to the end I gotta kind of shake them off but uh, anyways uh, it's going pretty good we're getting most of it so that's good Look at some of the down corn at the west end of the field. Trevor, the farmer that I help, his 10-year-old son is running a grain car tractor now. 
he moves the tractor, you know, from one end of the field to the other, but uh, he seems to be doing pretty good, and we're dumping on the go. This is his first time running the tractor and grain cart with us uh, dumping on the go, but I got control of the auger, so if he gets off a little bit, I can always turn it off so we don't spill corn, but uh, overall, he's just doing pretty darn good. And down corn has its issues. You got okay. So uh, we stopped for lunch today. It's Sunday. Uh, my wife made uh, baked chicken, mashed potatoes and gravy, and corn. Uh, my oldest son, Michael and uh, daughter-in-law Abby come over. They just live about seven miles from us. They come over for lunch and uh, corn's really dried off uh, since this morning. This morning, because of yesterday's wind, I was uh, picking up a lot of leaves off the ground and pushing them with the snouts. And uh, that's getting better as we go here. Um, I did clean the windows. Windows, when it rained there the other night, it uh, ruined the side windows. And I uh, got going this morning, didn't even think about it. but. Uh, clean them right before I started so we can get you guys some uh, better uh, cab footage here so anyway so we're gonna continue and uh, get this corn harvested and show you guys all the action Trevor is doing a phenomenal, phenomenal job running the grain cart. Um, today's his first day. He's, like I said earlier, he's 10 years old. And uh, I told him just to count six rows over and then straddle uh, two rows from there. And that'll put you in about the right spot. And uh, just try to hold the same speed as I am. And I'll speed up or slow down to fill the front or the back of the cart. And I know this uh, running grain cart takes some getting used to dumping on the go. So, uh, you know he's been watching his dad he's been watching me he's been watching the other guys and uh that's how kids learn and now he's doing it and like i said he's just doing a great job he's not dumping in the trucks yet but uh just it's a big help when he can just take the grain cart, he gets it to the end of the field. When his dad gets back with the semi, then his dad will dump it. And uh, just working out really good since we're uh, a little short-handed today. Isn't that a problem on every farm being a little short-handed? Hard, uh, hard to find a lot of good help, especially somebody that knows something, it seems like. Okay, so Trevor's got his dad riding with him for a round there, getting a few pointers. And uh, like I said, just doing great. So a lot of 10-year-olds are going to go back to school tomorrow. And what'd you do this weekend? Well, I ran grain cart for farmhand Mike while he was running the combine, and I kept up with them. So those are bragging rights right there if you're a fourth grader. Okay, so... Uh, I was talking about Trevor running the grain cart, doing a great job. Uh, I see a habit he picked up for me though. He is videoing 
off his phone while he's running the grain cart tractor. So, first day running the grain cart at 10 years old, he might be pushing the limits a little bit. But, hey, I'm running the combine. I got control of the auger. So, if he uh, slows down or gets ahead a little bit, I can always shut the auger off. So, uh, we're in a big open field. So, really nothing to worry about. But, uh, anyways, I just kind of laughed there when I was uh, sent here and realized he was uh, videotaping while we were going down the field. So. Looks like we got a future YouTuber in the making right there. Running gray cart and taking video. So, anyways, uh, a lot better harvesting conditions here, which is great because when you got down, when you got down corn, um, you can't get it all; you lose some. So, uh, and the deer have plenty to eat as it is. Not like the good old days when guys used to turn up cattle out here to graze, but uh, they work at cleaning it up. But those days of farming, that type of farming, uh, is kind of a thing of the past, especially around here. Uh, just a little after 6 p.m. and uh, the drying bin holding bins full uh, both trucks are gonna be full here real soon we're just gonna fill the grain cart and the semi and we're gonna be done uh, tomorrow Monday my vacation's over so I'll be going back to work even though I probably worked more hours on vacation than I did uh, during the work week but that's fine that to me this is this is all play and fun yeah well actually so is work but uh, my job but that's beside the point but uh, anyways this is probably gonna be my last harvest uh, vlog been doing one for the last what nine or ten days I think and uh, really enjoyed doing them I love the comments everybody uh, that watches them seems to like them by the feedback I'm getting so uh, I won't be doing one for a while probably until next weekend when I get back on the road or get back home from being on the road but uh, maybe this week I can catch up on some of my corn silage videos I got some corn silage videos I, uh, I think I got about a half a dozen corn silage videos to edit yet, 
and I got some versatile ones to get done and uh, I got some other harvest videos from some other farmers I know that I had uh, some time to do so uh, yeah maybe I'll get some uh, other videos something different up on my channel here uh, over the next few days and then uh, back to the harvest vlogs but things are winding down uh, here at uh, Martin Farms uh, we got about 300 acres of corn I'm guessing down on the south farms I don't know how much they have up at the north farms but uh, things are winding down uh, what is it today October 21st so uh, you know if everything goes well it looks like the weather's gonna be good all this week they're gonna still make progress uh, without me being here and uh, and uh, go from there but uh, we still got a lot of tillage uh, a lot of other stuff to do but uh, anyways thanks again everybody and stay tuned as I ride off into the sunset. Gonna do it. Uh, it's about 6.30. Uh, you can see it's nice and sunny out. Got almost a full moon over there. Uh, everything's full. Combine's full. Grain cars full. Semis are full. Uh, the bins behind us. We got uh, room for about 30,000 more bushel. So, uh, said they're going to haul the semis to the ethanol plant in the morning um and i think we got roughly 300 acres of corn left to go here on the south farm so anyways uh, sunny day today couldn't ask for a nicer day especially this afternoon um i never really stepped foot out of the combine other than a couple times i had to open the door and uh take a leak off the ladder but uh i thought it was really warm today but now i get out of the combine and find out it's uh quite chilly out here but uh, anyways uh, beautiful day beautiful evening and that's gonna do it